Hi, I'm Matt Landers with Covalence, and in this video, we're going to create a very simple React app from scratch. So we're going to use Babel and Webpack to compile our Re React app and get it working. So let's go ahead and do it. So the first thing that we need to do is to install everything that we're going to need, and we need to init our project. So let's go ahead and do that. That'll create a package JSON for us. And then and you'll see that over here. And now we need to install all the packages that we're going to need. We need React, React DOM, uh, Babel Core, Babel Preset-ENV, uh, Babel Preset-React. We need Webpack. We need Webpack-CLI. And we need the Babel Loader. All right, so we're gonna kick that off, let that roll, and we're gonna go ahead and go over here and start creating our app. So let's create an index.html file. This will be a very simple HTML file. We're just going to call it React Demo and put a div in here with an ID of root. That's where we're gonna render our React app to. And then we'll create a script and point that to app.js, which is what Webpack and Babel are gonna build for us. All right, so let's go ahead and add our Babel presets. So I'll just do this here. We're going to say presets. Uh, and then we just pull in the ones that we <clears throat> installed. Preset-env. You can see that. And preset-react. All right. And then we need an index.jx file, a JSX file. And in here, we're going to import React. From React. And we're going to import React DOM. From React DOM. Uh, we're just going to create a little hello component. Very, very simple. They just outputs or renders hello world in a H1. So rendering hello world in a H1. And then we'll use React DOM to uh, bind it to the root div that we put on the screen. All right, there we go. Very complex React app here. Uh, we want to compile this into an app.js file. And to do that, we're going to need a webpack.config.js. Now we're going to need the path from node just to create our fully qualified path names. And we'll do module.exports equals. Um, we're going to start with the mode to get rid of the little warning that we get. Our entry point is the index.js uh, file. So we use path.join here, jsx file. So index.jsx. And our output, we want to create an app.js file just in the root of this folder here. And we'll just do dir name because that gives us our current directory. And the file name will be app.js. Now, the last thing that we have to do is create our rules that will find the JSX files and then use Babel Loader on them. So we test for that, just the file extension, essentially. <clears throat> so .jsx. I want to exclude node modules. Don't want to compile those. And we're going to use babel-loader. All right. I'm going to save that. Uh, looks, this says something's wrong, but... Oh, I put a semicolon there. That is not right. All right. So let's see if everything installed. Looks like everything installed 
for us OK. And then we're just going to run Webpack on this. It knows where to look for that config file. And then it built our app.js. So now we want to go over to our browser and our folder here. And we'll just drag in this HTML file. And there we go. That quickly, we've created a React app. Now, there were a lot of moving pieces there, but hopefully you can follow along and get something up and running pretty quickly. And that's it for this video. Now I'm going to go into some other videos. We're going to talk about some of the new features in React. So I'll see you in future videos.